Torterra is the final non-Paldean starter to be featured in the seven star terror raid. It's a real bittersweet feeling coming to the end of the run of starters and seven star terror raids. That is how I got my starting content nearly two years ago. I didn't make content on the first four seven star terror raids, but I have covered every terror raid since the Alolan Decidueye. And it's been a consistent part of my life for nearly two years. So I'm excited for this chapter to come to an end. So hopefully a, with a bang, and then I'm excited to see what comes next because I know what we're really all excited for is the Shiny Rayquaza raids coming next month from December 20th to January 6th. I'm going to make another video shortly covering that, especially after the official announcement. But let's just take a, let's not worry about reflecting, looking back or looking forward. Let's lock in and focus on Torterra. I like Torterra. I'm not particularly fond of the Sinnoh region, but I think the Sinnoh starters are prime. I like Empoleon a bit better, but that's besides the point. We're here to talk about Torterra. It is very physically bulky, a higher defense than special defense, so we'll want to lean towards special attackers, most likely. Its hidden ability shell armor might be a big deal, but it might not. If Torterra does end up spamming something that will raise its defense, like something like Curse, then maybe focused energy and critical hits help us a lot. Otherwise, it's probably just a nice to have a cherry on top to get rid of shell armor, but it's probably not a must. In this raid, Torterra is Terra type ground, so it gets rid of that times four weakness to ice, but it still is weak to grass type moves, ice type moves, and water type moves. Torterra has built in coverage for water type Pokemon, being a grass type Pokemon, and it gets plenty of steel type moves and even a fighting type move like superpower to counter ice type Pokemon. But where Torterra really falls flat is it has no coverage to check our grass type Pokemon. But don't rule out our Terra water counters because they have a trick up their sleeve, which we'll talk about a little later, that'll make them still viable. In terms of support moves, Torterra has a ton of really useful moves to pull from. It could raise its attack with Swords Dance, it could raise its defense with Iron Defense, it could raise its both of those at the same time with Curse, or it could be specially bulky with Amnesia. Only time will tell. No matter what moves Torterra ends up having, its inability to cover up its grass type weakness will be its downfall. Now that we got an idea of what we're up against, here are some starting points for ideas for builds you can use in online group Terra raids for taking down 7 star Torterra. Make sure to check back with the channel after the terror raid starts, because I'm going to be live night one, finding a nice easily so uh, <laughs> a nice consistent solo build. All these builds are going to be in the description of this video, but let's take a quick look at each of them. A quick note, the stats up here are not going to match the stats on the build in the description. Defer to the build in the description. Ever since they patched the uh, money making Sylveon, I do not have bread like that in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, so I'm gonna wait and see before I really tweak those builds. I don't wanna waste the resources. Up first is Go-Goat, a Pokemon with a chance to shine not only in group raids, but also solo raids. Because of its ability, Sap Sipper, it has that grass immunity, which is nice, but also its moveset. It has Horn Leech, which does damage with some built-in recovery, so we can pack the metronome held item for extra damage, bulk up to increase our attack and defense, Mud Slap to charge our Terra Orb and lower the accuracy of Torterra, which always helps with survivability, especially in group raids. Then Worry Seed if we want to get rid of Shell Armor. It's a real simple build, but sometimes you gotta just keep it simple and run the ball. Up next is a build I'm excited to try in group raids. The ability doesn't matter for Sinistra. Why we're doing Sinistra, Sinistra, I don't know how to say it. I'm just gonna say it, I don't know how to say it. But this Pokemon, it's the moveset. Matcha Gotcha, really fun. It has the chance to burn, which we think Torterra is going to be a physical attacker. So burn will half that physical damage. We can power ourselves up with Nasty Plot. You can give it Iron Defense if you want to solo for even more bulk. Right now I have Reflex for bulk for the, all the homies. And then we have Life Dew to heal the homies. So I think this gives you a lot of versatility in negating some things that Torterra can do while keeping your allies healed. Gudra's a terror raid staple, and it can really make use of that ability sap sipper while being terra water. That's why we're picking Gudra. Uh, also because it has an incredible moveset right now. It has the acid spray to weaken Torterra, which is more susceptible to special attacks already. So that can boost not only our attacks with muddy water, but also for all of our allies. We can negate some of Torterra's damage with breaking swipe. We can power up uh, water Pokemon further with rain dance. 
and Muddy Water has a chance to lower the accuracy. I like this one, I think it's gonna deal a lot of damage as long as it can survive the early game with breaking swipes. An apple a day keeps the doctor away, and it's gonna keep Torterra away too, because apple acid is just that incredible of an attack. Lowering the special defense every time lets the damage get out of hand. Ability doesn't matter here, and depending on what kind of moves Torterra has, we can go Amnesia, Iron Defense, we could go Growth if we want, extra attack power, we could go Metronome Giga Drain, there is just a lot of good outcomes here and i just think appleton is really just going to run wild against torterra let me know in the comments what pokemon you are getting ready to take on torterra and if you enjoyed this video please consider dropping a like leaving a comment or using earthquake on that subscribe button for more dance squared thanks for watching and happy torterra season